하지마 이미 내 자중심은 바닥에 The first thing you'll need is a long piece of string. As you can see here, I've used a very um, soft yarn, which has no worst, it's just a single twist, I guess. And I think this one is a 30% wool. So you want to have that about a foot long, maybe. Lay it out nice and straight on your working surface. Next you'll need to get a large bundle of the same type of yarn, preferably the fluffy stuff again. Um, make them all about the same length here. And you'll want to lay those out um, over about a third of your long yarn in the middle. Like that. Now you take both ends of your yarn here and you'll want to make just a simple knot. Tie those in a bundle as tightly as you possibly can. Like that. Put one finger down and tie it again. Like so. so you now have what looks like a big mess. So then you'll want to flip this like that, the opposite direction that your first piece is going, which is this way. You'll put the two strings you just tied it with the opposite direction, flip the whole bundle over, and work them up to the other side. I'm only doing this because I can never seem to tie the bundle tight enough that it'll actually make pom pom doesn't fall apart. So here we're tying it again, like so, as tight as you can again, and my yarn just broke. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that can happen if you're using yarn that has only one strand in it. Most yarn's made of like two or three worsts, so it's got various strings in it. So if that happens, don't worry, <laughs> just toss that. And, okay, now we have a big bundle, like this. Could resemble an octopus, you never know. So, I'll be wanting to get some scissors. And, probably trim off various pieces of it. It's really hard to get all the string the same length. I was just using scrap yarn to make this one. It's a good idea to use scraps to test making pom-poms on, because it doesn't matter, really what they end up looking like in the end. <laughs> it's pretty much just a big puffy thing. Okay, so I think they're about all the same length here. This is why I only used uh, yarn that had a single twist to it. That's a very big yarn. You'll want to take each strand here and begin pulling it apart like this. See? starts making it kind of fluffy, right? Like that. So we're going to do that to the entire project. So in the end you'll end up with something kind of like this. Using the yarn that I did, it's almost weightless in your hands. And these could be used for wrapping presents, nice decoration on top. Um, you could put a bobby pin through them, the yarn actually holds it fairly well and affix it to your hair, which is what I did today, actually. And yeah, um, to see various ways this could be worn, I'll have various 
pictures up on my blog. Right there, unravelthetortle.blogspot.com. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little project.